Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to show you the next folding home to be released into a growing market. Over the last few years, there have been more and more offsite constructed homes that fold or unfold hitting the market, and it looks like the trend is continuing to pick up steam. I'm not sure why all of a sudden so many folders are marching into the market, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's a combination of technology, interest, and demand. Whatever the reason, I'm here for it because I find the different options, price points, and uses quite fascinating to follow. One of the biggest benefits advertised is the ability to ship or move the structures easier due to their narrow width, which allows them to travel down the road without any kind of wide load permit or escort. The concept is great and people seem to be excited about it, so I think this is a space that'll continue to get more competition going forward. The company I'm talking about today is a concept by the name of Pod X Go with their line of tiny homes that unfold in just 15 minutes. What I'm gonna do is tell you about the company, check out their models and get into their pricing. Podex Go is a new tiny home company with operations in Ontario, California with a home that will apparently unfold in just 15 minutes. I guess the concept was a result of interviews conducted by the Podex Go team with folks in the tiny home community to explore the main factors behind their decision to reside in compact dwellings. The predominant responses they received included reduce expenses and relieve financial pressure as well as the flexibility to relocate with ease. I've never really had this thought before, but imagine being able to pack up your home and move it when you change jobs, want to change a scenery, or simply get bored. It's kind of a cool idea, really. Their entire concept is quite interesting because what they're offering here is a tiny home about the same size as the Boxable Casita, but you can tow it with an F-250 or similar. I'm not gonna get into a comparison of the two because even though they're similar in size and idea, they're designed for different purposes. This is meant to move and the Casita is more of a permanent foundation-based option. That would be like comparing apples to oranges or maybe a Granny Smith to a Golden Delicious. They're different. What they've got here is a home that unfolds from 120 square feet out to 364 square feet with an auto hydraulic system that allows it to happen with the push of a button. In and out can both be done in 15 minutes. I mean, it can fold out in 15 minutes and fold back up in another 15 minutes. Not Audi any in 15 mini, although Seems like a missed opportunity for marking. The official description for the Podex Go is a sealed folding dwelling with the Podex Go hydraulic system that can be put in a variety of environments. All parts are manufactured in a highly precise factory and carefully packaged just for you. According to tinyhouse.com, it has an A36 steel structure to provide strength, durability, and resistance to mold, termites, and other pests like my brother-in-law. It's also noted that the panel built walls and roof have high R value to keep the home comfortable in all four seasons. I know people are gonna ask what's class is high insulation value, and that's a fair question, but the only other place I could find it mentioned, it said outstanding insulation value. So for now, unfortunately, I don't have the exact number. It's worth mentioning that even though the exact R value isn't there, that I could find anyway, their website does have a ton of information on it, more than most. They're described as an innovative solution to meet the challenge of housing offering the ability to either tow this thing around so you can travel and take your home with you or downsize and have an extra home in the backyard. Whose backyard you'll actually be able to unfold this thing in depends on the city and the zoning on the property, but they've got more information about that online. It's gonna differ from place to place. When looking at what's allowed where, it's important to know what we're dealing with. The Podex Go is a tiny house and it says on their website, the Podex Go must meet certain building standards that are set by regulatory bodies. It goes on to say this includes the NOAA Plus standard, which was developed based on the National Organization of alternative housing guidelines. As part of meeting the NOAA Plus standard, the Podex Go must be signed off by an RVIA inspector and abide by all local building codes. It's good stuff to know. The question becomes, if you want to get your mitts on one of these things, how do you actually go about doing it? As luck would have it, they've got an infographic on their website that keeps it nice and simple. Step one is listed as define your needs and priorities. Step two is choose your model. Step three is decide how you're gonna pay, important step. 
Step four is order and confirm delivery. Step five is pay a deposit. Step six is track production online. Step seven is delivery or pickup. And step eight is payment and enjoy. Everything Podex Go offers is designed in California, but manufactured in China. So when they're finished production, they ship them on over. They've got a crowdfunding campaign set up on Indiegogo and it's listed in concept phase, but it does say they're available in 90 days. So it does seem like they're taking orders, but at this point, it's tough to confirm time. Lines. Let's see what they got going on. Podex Go has a few different models being advertised on their website, but the first one being offered is the Grande S1. The S1 is 120 square feet when folded up and 364 square feet fully unfolded. Imagine rolling up on a campsite with one of these things. It's pretty much a transformer. Talk about a huge flex. I feel like this could be an option for snowbirds or people who like to hit the road for part of the year, but don't want to bother towing around a fully built out tiny home. The Grande S1 has a modern exterior with a hint of futuristic with with unfolded dimensions listed at 19 feet wide by 23 feet long. The way the sucker folds out is first the roof folds up, the walls fold out on each side, and finally the floor folds down, all at the push of a button. It would be cool to see it happen in person in real time. It's noted that the home is self-leveling, so no need to be underneath breaking your back trying to get it level. It handles itself. Some of the options available to purchase on the S1 include a smart home system and solar. They're actually partnered with Renogy for a build that will be a mobile showroom for Renogy products. A lot of people are always curious about off-grid options, mainly solar, and they've got a couple that can be used as an off-grid solution or backup for unplanned outages. Right now, the S1 has three different floor plans plans available all within the same footprint. When looking at the plans, keep in mind that anything that's brownish yellow in color is included in the base price and anything that's mint needs to be bought after the fact. Floor plan one is probably my favorite. Notice that everything down the middle is stationary and the two sides that fold out are open space that items get added to. When you enter floor plan one, you've got the living space kitchen to the left and bedroom to the right. The living space is 126 square feet and where you'll find the fridge, dishwasher, sink, and induction cooktop. The bathroom has the necessities including sink, toilet, and shower. All the bases are covered. Reminder, the furniture showing in mint is not included in the base price so keep a couple bucks laying around to pick it up after the fact. The bedroom has a desk that folds down so I could record YouTube videos, a Murphy bed, and a closet to hang up my t-shirt. Floor plan 2 is more of an open layout for people who like a little more space to glide through their house. You enter and the bedroom is to the left, kitchen living space to the right, and the bathroom sink vanity area is open so there's access from the living room and the bedroom. If I'm making a trip to the bathroom in the night, I find the faster I can get back into bed, the happier I am, and seconds matter. I think this access will save anywhere from three to seven, so definitely something to consider. The final floor plan currently available in the Grande S1 is Floor plan three. To be perfectly honest, I'm having a hard time visualizing this plan. I think it's one I'd have to get up into to see what it's all about. Basically, you walk in and the living space is to the left and you access the bedroom through the living room. It has all the same stuff, just in a different configuration. And for whatever reason, it's thrown my brain for a loop. Need to see this one in person. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna check out their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. I've never backed anything on Indiegogo Go-Go, so I'm not overly familiar with how that works, but it looks like they're running discounts for people who back their idea. With said discounts, prices are currently ranging from $49,000 to $69,000, and with no discount at all, the price is showing at $85,000. Like I said, this is an interesting idea, and I'm eager to learn more about it as things progress. Podex Go is a California-based company with an unfolding tiny house concept that'll be manufactured in China. The home that unfolds is an idea that's been getting a lot of attention lately and it seems like there's big time demand for it in the market. Podex Go is approaching from a different angle with a more mobile solution that actually remains on wheels. I think it's a cool concept and I am interested to see one of the finished units so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.